Albert took us to another orchid farm and I couldn't read the Chinese so I ended up going back to Google Translate to figure out where we went. Okay, so Albert has taken us to another nursery in Taishung. Um, I think originally we were going to visit a Vandegrower for Peter, but unfortunately um, that person isn't available, so we've come to this nursery instead. So what so is... These are clones. Do, they ever, do you ever see variation? No, because uh, I cloned it. I cloned it and I get the plants. So what's this right here? MS Sunlight. Oh, MS Sunlight. What does MS mean? I don't even know. I don't know. So these are all MS Sunlight. Supposedly there was a tetraploid. They're all growing in like... Rock. Look at the bottom. Oh my god, look at this. This is like, it's gotta be more than like a thousand. Look at all these. Hanging in pots up here. Oh my god, look at how many plants are here. They're um, looking. So, what are these? They're uh, candy no, ball by Sir Noah. Ball, so oh, Ficon ball. Oh, I see Peter's I trying to get Ficon ball. ball. Look at, oh, look, here's a, an Engracum. So, Peter wants to get himself a Ficon ball. We've been looking for Ficon balls. But I want to look at all these things that are in bloom. Look at this. It's beautiful. Looks like something that has Renee Marks in it. Or Pseudoepidendrum. Look at this Cerulea. Look at the splashes. All right, now they're looking at Ruben Cross and corner. So this is set up as it's 200 Taiwan dollars. So it's about 31 Taiwan dollars um, to the US dollar. And so you can basically divide that, we do it by 30 to make it easy. And so um, uh, 20 divided by three, these are about six bucks right here. Six and a half. Roger Color across the Schillerianna. There are a lot of seedlings here. And there's <laughs> all this moss hanging from the ceiling. And they're looking at other plants. All right, it's like walking into a jungle. So what are those uh, orange ones over there? Those are Aratiacas that are Clystomite. Oh, Clisto whatever. Cross to Clisto whatever. They self pollinate. <clears throat> so they self themselves. This one will be wonderful at night. This one is so Nadosa. Oh, look! The black prosthesia. Oh, yeah, I bought one from Sophie's, and of course, I've never gotten it to bloom. Who what? Who did this? The black spot? comet. Uh, yeah, these uh, are a clone, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, that's well, I'm the one that registered the hybrid because it was unknown. Oh, oh really? You registered the hybrid? Yeah. It existed as a trade name. Uh huh. But oh, but it's not never registered. There were so how crazy in that? There were many like that. Uh, for example, like uh, pink tangerine and fire, or, or something else. Like mini can't say all of these. Oh 
Oh, look. Indian rope. Encyclia guatemalensis cross the sib. Look at just, look at how many rows upon rows of little baby plants. Lorenciana right here, like so many. This is what Dendrobium ovipostiferum. I can't even say that. Ovipostiferum. That more, that MS sunlight back yeah, there. Sunlight. Oh, look at all the pretty blooming things. There's a. Mm -hmm. Non registered. Okay. Unregistered? Uh -huh. uh, oh, my, my, my citrina. I cannot grow them in lowland. I just put them here. What's that back, that variegated thing back there? Uh, Arantis Maggie Wee. Arachnis Maggie Wee. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, primary hybrid. Uh, this is uh, Cochleata by Intermediate, I think. Um, yeah, do you have one with a better. F yeah. This is a mod. Zhang Yu Jiao Hmm. Cochleata by Intermedia? Cochleata by Intermedia? Uh, it's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of an off-white, it's a little bland in color and... I love how the moss is all just hanging here. Very jungly. So most of the plants here um, belong to Tenshin. This grower can sell them, but um, this area is actually uh, cooler up here and they have a greater variation in day-night temperatures. So um, Tenshin has plants that need that here instead. So like these ones that we're looking at, you can see that some of them have Tenshin labels on them. This is all Ludiola? Yeah. Oh, here's a Cymbidium. wonder if this is Dorothy Stock still. The Meliads. Oh, look at this. This is this Ar Arundina? Mm -hmm. Just this sea of Arundina. Here 
and more Arundina. Oh, and this is just what Vanda Terry's or Miss Hakim, one of those. Is this the variegated King Anum? Mm -hmm. It could be a hybrid. Well, that this looks like a hybrid. Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan's glory, dark joy. Yeah, it could be. Could be. And this is the Kira Meki or whatever. Lost. Was it Kira Meki? Yeah, he says so this one's like Dendrobin. Kira Meki. Oh, there's a tag right here. This is Prismatocarpa. There are even more plants. Just look at these acres of plants here. I don't know if any of these belong to tension. A lot of this stuff is growing in that um, rock, but truly, clearly, like many benches of the same thing. Oh, there's something pink over there. Mixed in definitely with tropical plants here. Let's see, are those twinkles? Let's have a look. Yeah, this looks like twinkles. Maybe a yellow twinkle right there. Or Cheriforum, not sure. <laughs> oh, and there's a very uh, spotty botrytis damaged cymbidium right here. Yeah. So this over here, Theacolanthe. All those flowers are gone. Oh, there's a whole thing of seedlings here. Look, Tolumnia's in. Are they in shells? They're in shells. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Columnia's in shells. And then, oh, here's some Mastodalias. More Mastodalias. More. What is this? How do you count it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then. Is this Falcon Ball again? Yeah. 1, so, so surely, Peter, you'd be able to pick out some from this, right? Like, there's got to be a Falcon Ball here like three, that's suitable. Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand Falcon Balls. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, look at all these blooming orchids. Zygos, Cymbidiums, Twinkles. Look at all the twinkles, or you think this is a twinkle or a cheriforum right here? Oh, look, more Asian cymbidiums growing in peanut husks and great gums and bloom. Look at all these and great gums and bloom. Eburnum? Crestwood, crestwood. No, oh, Crestwood. Uh, crestwood with, uh, with Was it Crestwood Fresh White? Or... Uh, crestwood Morning Star. Mm. More Kingianum hybrids. Looks like a epidendrum some kind. Oh, it's so lush here. More little epidendrums. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I shot these already. Look at these. It looks like monolith. Forme, two different colors. Not sure. Don't hold me to what it actually is. Oh, there's a Vanda right over there. Look at that Vanda. Here's more. It says Cochleata by Sid. Oh, there's a Cochleata bloom. And he's got, um, what is it? Lanzia down here. Some nobly types. what this is. 600. Uh, all right, well, there are some nobly type dendrobiums. So is this Monoliforme right here? That's Angel Baby. Angel Baby. Yeah. I don't, is that a hybrid with, hybrid? How many percent? Yeah, it's a Monoliforme hybrid with Mabili. And then these are no blue types. Oh, look at this. Oh, pretty. Probably gets too tall for me. I think this is the same, but on a shorter, smaller plant. See, I think like this is like Epidendrum, cross pseudo Epidendrum, maybe Renee Marks. This a dendrobium of some kind? This gigantically. Moscatum. Dendrobium Moscatum. Mos oh, dendrobium. This is Moscatum? Yeah, they have like a pouch. I am so glad that mine died then because I would never be able to grow this. This is gigantic. No, but like, it's really tall. <laughs> Oh, 
All the dendrobiums are here. There are tag on any of these. Uh, oh, what is this? Frosty Mary by Bellato, the the Drobio Bellatrum cross with Shitting Frosty Mary. It's called oh. Jaho Candy. Jaho Candy? Yeah. You can see the leaf, it's like a bit silvery because they are. Yes, it is. Uh, they're from the Bellato. Oh, And then there's suddenly more Cattleyas right here. Little Haze. Lots and lots of little Haze. Probably a few thousand plants. The, the tag? Mm. This was over in a bunch of other places too. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what it was. Nice cluster. Is it glomeratum that makes a little ball like this? No, glomeratum has large flowers that are not as clustered. Okay. It's the other parent that's doing that. I think it's Goldschmidtianum. Oh, it does have that color from Goldschmidtianum. Oh, there's some bulbos right here. I think I'd love to figure out what these are. There's great color on this. I think there's even more over here. Oh, here's one that seems slightly, if it's Goldschmidtianum as one parent that takes after that more, getting its color from the other parent. Or this might be a different cross. These, see they have those little orange throats on them. Oh, I can't cross here. This is like a giant but burn compost pile here. Okay, it says that this is Epiferoginium. Gosh, there's more bulbos over here. <sighs> Miltonia, Spectaboli, whole bench of Spectaboli. And there are more Bulbos, Bulbo Plumatum. I don't, oh, here, fading flower. Some kind. I don't know if those are more bulbos over there or not. Here's another row of, I think, Cattleyas. And more Cochleata over here. Oh, here's some in bloom. I still like that Alba that I saw at Tension more than at this grow area. Even though Peter says that that's not a preferred color, I liked that Alba. And here's some Bulbophyllum falcatum. All right, and yet more Cattleyas of some kind. These are in bloom. So what are these right here? The clone, uh, uh, Byron and something. Uh, oh, but it, not the uh, the regular one. Not not uh, a that splash the splash one. one. Only ten. We have only 10 plants. 10 plants. Mariclone mutation? Division. Uh. Maybe they're a virus. You know. <laughs> it could be. You need to catch them. So, I don't know if these are like 
a number of incredibly huge sprays of Phalaenopsis that they just use as flower arrangements here. It's just staggering. I mean, like, look at this. I mean, I know this is more than one plant, but just look at how huge the sprays are. What great arrangement. Okay, it's warmer in here, but just look at all the flowering Phalaenopsis. There's a door, I don't dare go in. All right, I'm gonna just probably finish off the day with this. I don't know what it is. It looks like something that might be related to Docrilla, like Lazellii, but I don't know. It's yellow, it's cream colored. Um, it's definitely not Lazellii, but I feel like it would be related. Anyways, this place, uh, you know, that th this is, is so lush compared to greenhouses uh, in Chicago. Uh, it's just, I feel so lucky that I got to um, come and see it. And I hope that um, people enjoy what I'm able to share with them um, from what I experienced today.